finishing second in the Missouri Valley Football Conference. And Miller to throw on the first play of the game. And he gets around edge pressure. We we're just talking about his legs. Entire country in this spot. With the Montana D trying to get off for the first time today. And to that back shoulder, that's broken up incomplete. Jo Lucas Johnson out at quarterback. And a quick set to throw and has it complete underneath to his tight end. And that, and that was a big improvement last week. Only four penalties in their first round win against Simo. Johnson had a clean pocket, but it closes. So quick hit for a positive gain on first down. The penalty in the sack. And Johnson gets away from Wagey. And more pressure in his face, and he's got to throw at three and outs exchanged on the opening two possessions of the game. And North Dakota State for the second time get the ball, and they raise in after his first down run. And off of the play fake, Miller throws underneath. Joe Stuffel is ripped down. Get a little more in the archive for him. <laughs> so back on the ground, and North Dakota State moves it again with Kobe Johnson. North Dakota State in the playoffs has gone on to win the national championship in those three losses. But North Dakota State driving, and Miller 21, then Mathis with a 20-plus yard run. Here's the design quarterback run with Miller. He's into the end zone again. Man, that's outstanding. You talk about plus one capability. Then you have one other jersey green extra right there and he can just walk into the end zone. Went three and out on their first offensive drive. Lucas Johnson handing straight ahead. And a big hole there for late in the season. But Osmo out with a shoulder injury. So Childs and Xavier Harris, who gets a touch here. Backer now. <laughs> so third and short. And Harris staying in the game and into the crowd of Bison defense. We're up at the line of scrimmage on first and ten with Cole Payton into the game. He's the running quarterback. And really challenged this 3-3 defense. And the starting quarterback, Cam Miller back in, and that's broken up incomplete. He's gone after Ford twice, he's made two plays. Now Miller back in the ground after his touchdown. It's Miller! Running away from the Grizz defense, another score! The minute you think you have this offense figured out, they come with a hands out front like a fullback. So hey, look at that. And then TK Marshall trying to come get another block. He almost beat Miller to the end zone. <laughs> no. He had a, you said. Shy of midfield last time. And Johnson to throw on first down, and he pings it in there to Grossman again. And it's Childs in the backfield off the play fake to him to the sideline to Fonts. And he's got the Fonts to the back shoulder. Does move the chains. Here's Johnson stepping up into the pocket, right back to Fonts. And there you go, stack it. And the best drive of the day so far for Montana. And they go inside with Childs, quarterback to prepare for this week. Third and five. And Johnson steps away, throws underneath, and his favorite target on. <laughs> Easy, nice and smooth. Johnson outside of the pressure of Wagey, and he throws it away. Yeah, the crowd. And just inside the 15 on third and eight. Out to the left again. Johnson sets the feet, has it complete. Yeah, Kubitz in on the pressure. He's in for Wirtz, who is injured. Here's Johnson keeping himself and reaching for the goal line. And said he is down right at the one-yard line. Look at that interior blocking, though, and he's right there, almost to you. have got Childs in the back behind him, and they go inside with the quarterback sneak, and the ball looked to crop. He's the biggest guy, tall, got a lot of strength, and he's able to get in. That was a nice response to begin it. A lot of Lucas Johnson to end it. And finished off with the PAT. When you have a lot of things moving. Look to that traditional three down look for Montana. And Kobe Johnson between the. He had the stick after the four yard run. Here's Eli Green, the speedy red shirt freshman, threw an arm tackle and he's got a first. Announcing transfer for North Dakota State before the playoffs. Probably the final play of this first quarter. And Mathis has it for today. Uh, that's feeding into this game. Running touchdowns for both quarterbacks. Start breaking out for a rushing touchdown last time. And he keeps it himself again. And Fouch is out there on the edge to bring him down. Really nice for the Grizz. On silent count, Montana through the noise in the Fargo Dome and a back shoulder cap. So third down and one, and Gilman out the back door, pulled from him, 
with Johnson out the backside. He's first down run for Lucas Johnson on the pole read. And he gives to Junior Bergen here. And she had the first tackle. And he slammed down. And his dad also named Lucas, former college running back at Illinois. And here's Gilman weaving through the secondary for North Dakota State. Out of stop. They may have to come out of that too high shell. And here's Gilman with more space again and tripped up after a level kid. One of the captains for this Bison team makes it third and eight. And Johnson goes down. And Ramos is pure on the play of this game so far. And Miller looking into the trips and goes underneath to Eli Green, his second touch of this game. Deflected off the defender of his, and then Hofstead caught it off the back. Now here's Rajah Nelson and less than full strength playing today. Here's Miller on second and long. And space out in front of him, running away from McGowan, and he takes a pop. Back away, the strip sack from Noose and the recovery by O'Connell. And Johnson grinds his way past midfield. And a healthy, you got to talk to your son. <laughs> at 10.30 at night, that's not a good sign. That's right. And here's Johnson looking for the Evers and two quarterbacks as well. And here's Tameric Williams, the bigger, stronger of the two backs. This offense. And the transfer from SMU keeps it. And he's got nowhere to go with five. It's TK Marshall in there. And he's leading the way for Miller, who sidesteps one tackle, but nowhere to go. So out of the shadow of their own end zone, Montana moves the chains. And Childs brought the ball IQ. There's Childs off of the give read. Well, Grizz might have to get going here. Minute and a half until the break. And Kayser was up there with a chance on that play. But Child aggressive the Bison get and trying to get the ball back. Johnson with pressure again. Balls out, flags out. Darren scoops it up and the ball is free from him. Scramble for it at the goal line. You're backed up. You get this first down and then you had to sack the prior play. And then Darren almost scooped and scored. And nice job of doing that. Five and into field goal range for Montana. And here's Britt. Had the option to throw it. And he spins out and gets sandwiched. Well, finishing forward. And straight up the gut. And down to the 15-yard line. Love playoff football because all you have now is you can't look at the clock. Locker room too. Especially at the end of the game. Exactly. Right. The, the favor. Yeah. He meant more he, if he was being specific. It would have been fourth quarter. <laughs> Daniel Britt, who backs up Lucas Johnson and running the option and He's taken down with Tutsi at the season when Lucas Johnson was injured. In form in relief today and throwing to the sideline and a big third down and eight. And they bring eight or bring six on pressure on third and eight. And they wrap touchdown lead into halftime. And it's Miller and handing to Kobe Johnson to begin the second half. And it's Williams in there as the back on second and six. And Miller given time. Gets it away down the sideline and incomplete. Play clock down to four. Miller gets the snap off and throws it complete. And bite it to the senior bowl. Oh, a little trouble with the exchange, but Williams picks it up. Miller point game. You said it best, Mop. What did you say? <laughs> Momentum operation. <laughs> One of the most efficient passers in the FCS handing off. And Johnson out of a camp. And Kobe Johnson is gone. Hey, my offensive line is a major reason why I get big plays. And that was a good example. There was not much play similar to Alvin Kamara. Look like it right there. You talk about wanting to be like something. But Britt can fly. On second down, he goes underneath and has it complete to his tight end, Rensvold. And North Dakota State was showing some pressure, but they bring four. And Britt steps into it. And Las Vegas power Bishop Gorman in the state semifinals. Been in big moments, but been a little bit as Roberts is captured right at. Britt going down the sideline. Two defenders down there, and Weber intercepts it. And Williams in there running back. And he sneaks out of the pile, and he's free. And Williams, not to be denied, into the end zone. 
of Jenna Carroll and Hauk was coming next to him, but he just kept his and big hitters for both Bison running backs. First Kobe Johnson from 75. And now Tamara Wirtz and the linebackers can come up and get tackles. Gets one on his own. Well, Britt out the backside, throws into traffic. Almost intercepts half. Has not come out onto the field in the second half. And Britt over the middle. That's almost picked. The Tutsi for tight end slash fullback type bodies on the field. And Kobe Johnson running into that big in the playoffs. And North Dakota State keeping it on. Now Williams bangs it back in there and he's popped each other late. So on third and four, pressure comes and Miller goes down. They now they do throw it or try to throw it on first down and Britt it since then. And he gets home on the fifth sack of the day for the Bison. And Britt over the middle. Oh, Nick. Off of the play fake. Britt away from pressure. And gets the feet set and has it complete downfield. Back. And Britt off of the fake. Gets Fonts. He's wrangled down. You for the first down. Now another third down. Pitch out to Childs. He gets to the edge and past the pile for a first down. And that was when they were down two scores. Down two scores here. And Britt sneaks through. And the final play of the third quarter. Off a little fake. Taking another shot. And Roberts has come from behind for a second straight week. Third and five to start the fourth quarter. And Childs. The fourth and one offense on the field for Montana and Childs has the first down. Oh, not good for TV consumption. Well, Kubitz with his first interception of the year and oh Montana and fighting tooth and nail for that. Uh, Johnson broke out for a big guy to beat. Johnson turning on the Jets again. Runs by this ball club and that's what you do if you get in there. Let's score. <laughs> Let's not let them have any momentum after this drive. Seeds the two left standing out of the Missouri Valley Football Conference. Here's Britt and Hendricks had the first hit and he's cleaned up team. And Britt out of the game Brown into the game at and it's Miller the starting quarterback motioning out and Peyton to the edge getting a block for Miller the typical starting quarterback. And Peyton with the shoulder pads. And Peyton out. And Williams in. And he's got a short gain on first down. You see what I'm talking about? Figure them out at certain times. And Williams with another pile on his shoulder. It takes 40. So adding to an already 400 yard rushing day. And Miller getting a lead block from Mauk, the future left tackle in the NFL. Starts. Now paving the way on another inside run. And Todd and TK Marshall with another touch, and he stood up by Jenna Caro. Back up to Cam Miller, but they've used both a lot of the year. And here's Marshall to the edge, and he ran. They start inside, dart out, and it's hard to defend that. And you know, Daniel Britt is doing all that he can. Britt over the middle, which they had to do in that second half. Now well, Britt on another quick set, and complete to long time. It is the thing about him is you know, he's a special teams guy, he loves defense, and he's, he loves guys Ooh. that can play. And that's a yeah. It was interesting to catch up with Tim. I hadn't seen him since in a long time, but his Washington State Huskies beat my good to see him and, and spend some time with him today. And I love that you remember the coverage too. Uh, I remember because we were on the sideline. You know, that's just because when you see somebody that can play well, you're going to give them your best. Now underneath to Childs and with the stiff arm, he earns the. Anytime you go around programs that have guys that get to the pros, it's helpful for you and your program. And Chris Brown's back in it. Who had a lot of success here as well. I mean, it just. There's Britt to the end zone and he throws it to that. Not a lot of consolation if you're. Oh. Montana Kick is player. But. Formation. And Peyton kneels it down. 
And they play a lot against each other, but when they do, it's always a good affair 